South Sudan. South Sudanese youths attack Turks illegally mining for gold. South Sudanese youths attacked senior staff members of an unauthorized Turkish mining company and the chief of the Katadori Administrative District of Capoeta East County in Eastern Equatoria State. The youths were angry about the Turkish company allegedly mining for gold without the community's consent. The Turkish company was ordered to discontinue operations as a result. According to Radio Tamazuj, the youths and elders of Katadori accused the local politicians and chief of colluding with the governor of Eastern Equatoria, Louis Lebong, and the administration of President Salva Kiir to illegally extract gold from the area. The Turkish company reportedly cleared the road from its main camp to the Capoeta Hills, which contain large gold deposits. Chinese miners tried to set up shop in the area before, but ended up in a deadly fight with the Toposa people. Meanwhile, some of the Turkish staff are being cared for in Capoeta, while others have been medevac to the capital, Juba, for additional treatment. Lebong reportedly arrived on scene to try to convince the inhabitants to allow the Turkish miners to continue their operations. However, it is unknown if he was successful. Eastern Equatoria state lawmaker Christine Nakwar accused a fellow lawmaker in Parliament of arranging the agreement with the Turkish mining company without the community's consent. She said the company has been exploring in the region for two years without fulfilling its obligations to the community. At the 7th Governor's Forum in Juba in December, Lebong denied accusations of large-scale mining in eastern Equatoria, claiming only small-scale miners operate in the state. It is believed that millions of dollars worth of gold is smuggled out of South Sudan annually.